Taki Obama unveils his library, gets humiliated when people notice one embarrassing detail. Former President Barack Obama recently unveiled plans for his new presidential library. Unfortunately for him, things aren't exactly going as hoped right now after people quickly noticed one embarrassing detail about the building, and it's downright humiliating. Obama was perhaps the worst president our country has had to suffer in the past 50 years. Despite the fact that he did very little for the American people while making himself filthy rich in the process, his blind supporters don't seem to mind ignoring that huge problem simply because he had a little bit of charisma. Making matters worse, it seems that some are even willing to spend loads of taxpayer funds to pay tribute to the man, even though he only heard things here in America. With race relations in the toilet, along with the economy and American jobs when he left office, it's a wonder why anyone would want to honor a president who did so much harm. Sadly, that's exactly what Chicago is doing as the city has decided to erect a shrine in the man's honor. Technically, it's a presidential library that doubles as a museum, but the entire ordeal has been riddled with controversy from the get-go, as BizPack Review reports. After initial plans were first released, they were quickly trashed when critics claimed the proposed structure would block scenic views and take up too much parkland. However, the new design has since been unveiled, and it actually consists of a taller building that is transparent in parts. Here's what the plans now look like. Although I'm sure Barack Obama is more than happy to have a building designed and built in his name, he may want to hold off on the celebration. Come to find out. People all across the country noticed one detail that Obama apparently missed, and it's downright embarrassing. People came out of the woodwork to say what they thought the structure looked like. The tallest building in the design actually resembles something rather humiliating, but it's rather fitting, considering it's meant to pay homage to the worst president in recent history. Obama's new library actually looks like a trash can. As if that wasn't embarrassing enough. A few others even said that the building looked like a cat litter box, a cheese grater, or Chinese food container. Others, of course, had different ideas, saying that it looked like a wide range of things. Ben Shapiro, who wasn't alone in his sentiments, said that it actually looked like a Star Wars character, a drone named Gonk. Others said it resembled other structures from different sci-fi movies. Regardless of what we think it looks like, I think we can all agree on one thing, this is a complete and utter waste of funds and space. Barack Obama doesn't deserve an award or recognition. He deserves to be remembered for what he was, namely, the worst president we've had in over a half a century. The fact that people want to praise Obama and honor him with something like this really goes to show the biased state of the left. If the left can't see the simple fact that Obama was destructive to this country both in terms of the economy and social issues, then they're not worth even having a discussion with, in the first place. Although presidential libraries have been the common practice since 1939, Barack Obama certainly doesn't deserve anything spectacular. Actually, a garbage can is more than fitting, it just shouldn't be such a costly monstrosity. Just like his presidency. His library has been poorly planned and implemented, so we shouldn't be surprised. What's more, just like Obama loved to do, his library violates federal law as well, as Mad World News previously reported. The proposed site is on protected land. Building on it would destroy historically significant locations. Again, it sounds a lot like the Obama presidency, doesn't it? Maybe Chicago should erect a public trash can in honor of Obama because that's what he is, trash. Imagine the money they could save if they just did that anyway. Heck, they could then take the money they were going to spend on Obama's library and put it back into fixing up their city. It sure could use it, but then again, this is just another prime example of why Democrats are so bad at running anything. Things need fixing up. But they want to spend that money on something that isn't needed for a man who doesn't deserve it. Liberal logic at its finest, right there, right there.